In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the subsets of a set. Before we begin doing this, I want to go through some very simple definitions that you really need to know. Let's say we have two sets, set A and set B. Set A is a subset of set B if every element in set A is also an element in set B, and order doesn't matter. And this relationship is symbolized with this symbol. The second point here will be discussed in one of our examples. So before I show you how to find the subsets of a set, let's try answering some true or false questions. Decide if the statement is true or false. Is this set a subset of this? Notice that this has three elements, this one has three elements, and every element here is found here. So this statement is true. In part B, we have one, two, and four in the first set. But in the second set, we have one, two, three, and four. Now, because every element in the first set is found in the second, the first set is a subset of the second. But more specifically, going back to this point, set A here is referred to as a proper subset of B. So while this statement is completely true, I'll mark it down as false because I would personally prefer that we use this symbol instead as it's more specific. Question C. We have one, two, three, four in the first set and one, two, four in the second. This statement is completely false due to the simple fact that this contains more elements than the other. So we can cross out the symbol. In question number two, we're asked, find the subset of seven and eight. One subset here could be the exact same set, seven and eight. So that's one possibility. Another possibility would be one of each number. So we would have a set like this and a set like this. And not only are these subsets, but they're also proper sets as well. It's also important to remember that some sets may have no elements at all. And that too is considered a subset. So I can write it out as an empty set or a slashed zero like this. Therefore, for a set with two elements, you can have up to four possibilities. What about the subsets for A, B, and C? One example could be A, B, and C. Another for each letter individually, A, B, and C. We're up to four already. We could also have A, B, A, C, B, C. That's seven. Lastly, an empty set also counts as a subset. Therefore, for a set with three elements, you have up to eight possibilities. It turns out that the number of subsets can easily be identified by using the formula two to the power of k, where k represents the number of distinct elements in that set. So here we would have two to the power of two, that's equal to four. Here we would have two to the power of three, which is eight. In question number four, we're asked, find the number of subsets for the set and notice that this time our set is written in a different type of notation. This notation here is called set builder notation and it defines the set in terms of its properties. So the way you read this is the set of all X and this line is such that X is a season of the year. So since we have four seasons, two to the power of four gives us the number 16 subsets for this particular set. And there you have it. That is how to find the subsets of a set.